It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. She was a child in a kingdom by the sea, but we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabelle Lee. With a love that we, the winged seraphs of heaven, coveted oh, in a kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of the cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up, to shut her up in a sculpture in this kingdom. Angels, by not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in the kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud at night, chilling my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who are older than we, <laughs> of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above, nor the demons down under the sea, can ever... Oh, can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. Beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide, I lie down by the side <laughs> of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride. In this sepulcher there by the sea in her tomb of the sounding sea. Poem Annabelle Lee by Edgar Allan Poe because um, actually one of my friends suggested it to me and I really enjoyed the imagery and the story that it told about a beautiful girl named Annabelle.